Hello there lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's just uh, midnight, turned midnight. Uh, today I think is uh, 9th of January. Uh, I'm going to be doing three fragrance reviews for you. Uh, one from designer's side, uh, 2021 release, this particular episode, and then followed by two niche fragrances, okay? Uh, hopefully you like this uh, reviews and it will be beneficial for you. So first of all, just one thing just to clarify. Um, before I start the review, many of you asked me, like a couple of people I've noticed in the comment section asked me, Joy, what product do you use on your hair? What uh, pomade or gel you use? Uh, I use nothing. I absolutely use nothing. I just uh, have uh, coconut oil. This one actually has aloe vera in it. It's a Bangladeshi or Indian product. I'm not sure. I think a Bangladeshi product. Parachute. Okay. So this one, basically, if you use uh, coconut oil, I also have pure coconut oil. It gives you uh, like shiny hair and then, you know, you you know some benefits that's about it second thing before i start my scent of the night is just uh, this is old style reviewing uh, b back in the days reviewers used to say scent of the night so my scent of the night is victor and roll spice bomb i fell in love with this dna recent times in winter once again this has been with me for quite some time and i absolutely love the bottle design this one flower bomb i just love them spicy playful sweet kind of uh, night out fragrance so let's review uh, latest uh, flanker from house of bulgari man line this is i i'm gonna butcher the name i'm not sure terra essence terra essence <laughs> this one i have a miniature today it's a 5 ml miniature which is very cute okay uh, this is part of their bulgari man line you guys know bulgari man has bulgari man man in black extreme wood essence neroli essence down after, before that there was like a blue one i forgot the name glacial essence and they have uh, many other flankers you know uh, so basically some of them are discontinued, some of them are available. So this one is the latest one. Uh, this one I got as a gift when I was shopping from one of our retail shops here. Uh, the sales rep, he was very nice to me. He said, uh, give the brother this one. Uh, he asked the other boy that uh, this one he can review. So very nice gesture. Thank you so much. Actually, basically his shop is Sandara uh, or Shundara in Bangladesh. So I did a few purchases in recent times. So it's it's a nice gesture, you know. So this is that miniature if you buy a big bottle the box just gonna get bigger in size okay this is edp concentration and the bottle you if you see other bottles you can recognize these ones very easily very cute i love these miniatures but sadly uh, uh, the 5ml doesn't come with a spray if you have a 15ml or like a, this there's a 15 or 12 mil that has a uh, sprayer okay that would be great but i have it on my hand uh, i kind of splashed it and this fragrance i have plenty to say so first of all uh, Bulgari house is a very very nice house. I love the designer house of Bulgari. They have some outstanding fragrances. My favorite being Bulgari Men in Black, that Aqua line. They have quite a few lines. The Bulgari Purom line, <clears throat> then Bulgari Black. Uh, quite a few fragrances. I, I really feel Bulgari doesn't get that sort of love they deserve. Okay, so we'll give some love today. Okay, so first of all, as I was telling you, I have plenty to say. This one is available at Sandara, this shop. I saw it, it was released because they are bringing all the latest fragrance very quickly. But downside is when fragrance is brand new, fragrance gonna be tend fragrance gonna tend to cost you more full retail. This is actually about $120. So which is uh, definitely for me, I'm not gonna pay that price. Uh, reason being, uh, after a while, this kind of fragrance can be had five, six months after that, it will be discount hitting discounter. So you can have these around $65 around that price tag. So I will not pay that 55 extra dollars, right? Uh, second thing, this fragrance, I really liked it. When I sprayed it in the shop, I sprayed it before. I know the smell. I tried Philip Plain. I bought that. I did the Pakurawan Phantom. All this fragrance I bought from there. And uh, I actually really like their collection. Huge collection. It is one of the biggest stores in Asia, you know, uh, in our local uh, the outlet they have. They are opening some more. So basically, I love this perfume. When I sprayed it, I absolutely fell in love with it. And I felt like this is my cup of tea. This is definitely not... Uh, safe fragrance okay let me just hold this and talk about it this fragrance right here um sorry i was eating chocolate sorry about that yeah that's why i'm in a good mood so but just like the chocolate this is not sweet this is a different kind of fragrance this is for people who like gucci guilty absolute who like fragrance a little bit dark a little bit spicy this is for me as a spicy kind of fragrance let me review the notes and then we'll talk about what i get from this okay really lovely bottle of this uh color is really really nice so i do not remember all the notes so that's what i'm reading from fragrantica uh, basically this one has uh, top notes of citron and calamansi middle notes are oris and vetiver 
and base notes are earthy notes and styrex okay so those notes when you see those notes break down opening is kind of spicy i get that a little bit but calamansi basically if you do not know what it is it, we used to have this in malaysia like uh with tea they used to make ice lemon tea or hot tea we call te teo panas no sorry te panas teo panas teo panas limau or teo ice limau you know that's the malaysian language basically they use those little little orange mandarin orange kind of cute little uh, lemon if you cut it half it will have this color you know like i don't know if the camera will pick up yeah it will not pick up you see the one next to citron right this one this one is a very cute little lemon so basically it has a texture somewhere between orange and let me come closer yeah right so basically it has kind of like a orange slash lime property it's very uh, sweet and zingy citrus okay so very mouth watering kind of like uh, lemon so the citron basically it's i think it's derived from citrus like lemon so kind of like a drinkable citrus that is processed i think that's what i feel so this one doesn't have that much of citrus opening uh, right away in the opening i get kind of like start getting this earthy notes kind of like the spicy notes and they have the notes other notes right wait oh wait the just now i mentioned the oris uh, kind of like this buttery oris quality and then the vetiver it will come much far dry down but i get those earthy notes and styrex kind of like this leathery vibe going on so basically a badass fragrance you know like john varvedos would make and this is a very bold statement by bulgari this perfume is something breath of fresh air i didn't like glacial essence so much that remind me a lot of 212 uh, men by kevin herrera green vetiver uh, grassy this one it's not like that this this one doesn't feel like at least from the ones i tried doesn't feel like it's inspired by anything else so very original release from bulgari uh, but it's not their fault that fragrance costs so much because retail is always expensive you guys know the drill you go to any mall anything that comes out brand new you cannot have it 20% or 50% that's not possible so i would suggest honestly speaking this fragrance i'll give for the rating the smell i really really like it's very very uh, interesting it's very new but at the same time uh, the newbies who like safe perfume this is not for you okay you i would say go with bulgari man extreme or bulgari uh, man black cologne or man in black even that's dark but a lot more sweet this is less sweet a more earthy more spicy it reminds me of some tom ford fragrances noir anthracite you know uh, that dark earthy tone a little bit dirty it feels almost like patchouli you know like mr burberry uh, like edp i think that i forgot the dark bottle i forgot that it had its patchouli note also it's slowly coming out it's very much like very dark if you something you would imagine from a niche house so for the smell scent profile this is a 10 very surprising fragrance very very surprising i want you to go and try in the mall do not blind buy or blind order get a sample or decant or miniature like this if they're giving you miniature samples ask them if they have this try it out maybe pass it in a decant and use it 5 ml will definitely tell you a story for me i absolutely love it i think it'll be great for cooler months uh, uh, fall uh, winter that time is great longevity was pretty good from the sprays i did in sandara so very long lasting solid uh, bold release kudos to bulgari for the effort 10 for that effort overall this fragrance initial impression i'm giving this a 9 out of 10 uh, because i really like that they're doing something new not just typical uh, same old same old what's being released so overall it's a 9 out of 10 for bulgari terra essence terra essence okay this is a thanks to sandara for it's a beautiful gift okay so now time to move on to the second review thanks for watching guys and uh, let's see uh, what you have to say let other people know in the comment section so others would benefit it. Take care. Good night.